In this training content, we will render the bedroom model you see on the screen in a quality and realistic way in exactly eight minutes. You can download this bedroom model from the site in the description. You can create different designs by changing the places you want in the model. Make sure you follow the instructions exactly and your model is ready for rendering. Sit back. Let's start if you are ready. Make sure that all details of your model are ready for the D5 rendering engine. Most of your model needs to be shaped according to the design concept. We will do everything else in the D5 rendering engine. Let's start if you are ready. Second part, transferring the model to the D5 rendering engine, select the SketchUp file from open and wait for the file to load. File load time varies depending on how big your file is. After uploading, your file will appear on the D5 render screen. In 3D visualization, you can separate lights into indoor and outdoor. This way you can work more comfortably. Let's start with indoor lights first. First, let's set the properties of the LED lights. You can use a rectangle light to support these lights. Make sure to use the same tones so that the light tones are not different. In the same way, we continue by illuminating the LED lamps inside the cabinets. Be careful not to enter too much value in the lighting intensity. When adjusting light settings in the D5 render engine, do not open the exposure section unless you have to. The exposure section actually causes the lighting to be a bit too much indoors. We continue by closing this section. From the same section, we come to the environmental lighting section and select the HDRI section. Select the appropriate HDRI file for our work from this section. For a more natural diffusion of light, be sure to adjust the glass textures to the correct settings in the coating section. For other texture settings, continue using different textures for the correct toning on the back of the bed and on the floor. In this scene, I have already added the textures to the favorites section, so I am adding them from this section. Don't worry, because our scene is very dark, we will easily solve this problem in a short time. First. Let's adjust the HDRI direction and turn down the intensity of the sun's light. I increase the shadow value to make the shadow softer. The darkness is actually due to the fact that the natural light does not distribute too much inside. We will solve this situation with rectangle light sources from outside to inside. You can add two rectangle light sources for each window, top and bottom. You can set their directions to face up and down. The rectangle light sources we add to the windows from the outside will allow us to get a more balanced light inside. When you add light sources, adjust their light intensity so that there is not too much light inside. Also, do not forget to give a massive light feature to the light pool on the ceiling. We need to fix the reflections of some of the textures on the stage. For example, the fabrics on the bed look uncomfortable because they get too much reflection. You can change their settings by pressing the letter I, selecting them with the eyedropper tool, and changing them from the right menu. Change the texture of the wooden flower bed in front of the window. We can see that there is a little bit too much light in the current light condition of the scene, so lowering the exposure value a little bit to make a complete adjustment will balance the light setting of the scene. If you want to increase the wall texture effect in the scene, you can find many textures in the D5 Render Texture Library. Here I will use the plaster texture I have already selected. Since the plaster texture is not completely white, I zoom it to white in the texture settings. By adjusting the normal map and texture size, you can increase the sense of realism in the texture. Ambience is a very important issue in 3D visualization. Complementary effects are indispensable for both outdoor and indoor architectural visualization. You can find and use these ambience elements very much from the D5 render library. For the wooden planter in this scene, we continue by setting the texture property to grass. You can fill this part with flowers and other plants from the library. You can use an extra spotlight to enhance the effect of textures in the interior. This will give your work a different atmosphere. When using spotlights, again, do not exaggerate the light intensity too much. These lights will have a beautiful effect on the plants and other textures you add to the interior. We need to make more use of the D5 Render Library to strengthen the scene more in the interior. In the D5 Render Library, you can find many quality interior models for your needs. These models are constantly updated and the newest ones are added. We especially need these models to create a quality scene. 
In the D5 render engine, we can batch render to save a lot of time before moving on to the rendering part. First of all, we need to create our scenes by pressing the Create New Scene section in the left menu. You can make scene settings from the parts you want from the work. You can further strengthen the scene with effects such as depth of field from the camera section. If you create more than one new scene from the most effective parts of the scene, you will make the presentation of the scene more comfortable. We can save a lot of time by batch rendering in the D5 render engine. To use this feature, click on the image icon at the top right. Some render resolutions will appear for us at the bottom. I am choosing 4K for now. We need to select your scene from the Scene section on the left and then add it to the Render Library at the bottom right. This section is called Add the Render Queue. After selecting each scene on the left side, you add it to the Render Queue by pressing Add the Render Queue. Then you come to the Render Queue at the top right. In this section, you can see your render images waiting. Select a place for the render output at the bottom and press Render. You can remove the parts you don't want to render by right-clicking the mouse. After the rendering process is finished, right-click on the images in the window that appears and click Open File Location. This will take you to the folder where the render is saved. You can then open the images and check the visual quality. It is very easy to output animation in the D5 rendering engine. We continue by pressing the video button at the top right. You will see a different menu appear at the bottom. Don't worry about it, it's very easy to get animation. To prevent sharp turns in the animation, let's set the camera speed to 1 in the Camera tab. Then let's determine our starting point with the Add Current View section at the bottom. Then enter a different point and press Add Current View once again. Since our start and end points have been determined, our animation has been created in the meantime. We can see our animation by pressing the Play button. To export this animation, we select the resolution from the Resolution section on the right. 2K and 4K will be a good choice. Preferably, you can mark the frame rate as 60 FPS. Then select a folder location by pressing Render, and the animation rendering will start. Remember, while doing your work, you should make sure that your 3D scene has completed enough design elements. During the creation process of the model, you should make different touches within the model to reach sufficient quality. In order for a design to reach sufficient quality, you should pay attention to elements such as detail. The detail of the model you have prepared in SketchUp or any program has always been decisive in quality.